why deep fakes is in news in this election season. Also, what should you know about forest fires in Uttarakhand and what's new in India-Maldives relations. Hello everyone, I am Manas Srivastav and I am here with the three must reads from the Indian Express today. Aaj ki tariq hai May 8th, 8th of May. Or jaise ki mein hamesha kehta hoon ki the newspaper reading is a very important part of your current affairs preparation for any competitive examination or enriching your knowledge of the current affairs. Now let's come to the first must read from the Indian Express today or aaj ka jo Pehla important read hai, that comes from the economy page. Now, as I said in introduction, I was talking about deep fakes. And I was talking about the election season and why are there deep fakes in the news? So, when you read the economy page ki headline padhe, and you will see that the ECI letter on deep fakes, what poll panels has said and what remains unclear. So, this is deep fakes ka jo news and deep fakes ke around news hai, isne election. मैं भी अपनी जगह बनाई है इलेक्शन कमिशन ने इसी वजह से डीप फिक्स के बारे में एक लेटर के थ्रू इट हैज सेड समथिंग एंड देयर आर थिंग्स व्हिच इट हैज सेड एंड देयर आर थिंग्स व्हिच आर नॉट क्लियर एज पर दिस इकोनॉमी का आर्टिकल रिटन बाय सोमेंद्र बारिक ऑफ इंडियन एक्सप्रेस नाउ लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ एंड वी विल गेट टू नो व्हाट इज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट in its first formal response to the use of deep fakes in this election season, the Election Commission of India has directed political parties to not share such content on social media and if they come to know of such content to take it down within three hours and warn the person in the party who has shared it. So, ये तो हमें समझ में आएगा कि ECI ने deep fakes को लेकर क्या किया तो आपको context पता होना चाहिए किसी चीज को लेकर कि ये particular news के संदर में है with what relation this particular news is being talked about now there are various things which have been said by the election commission of India for example use of such deep fakes which cause erosion of trust in the election process election process में जो trust है उसको कम करता है इस तरह का deep fake videos and also sometimes these content can be derogatory especially to women okay so उसको we have to make sure that you know during the process of election or something ये चीज ये गतिविधि ना हो then it talks about the grievance committee okay and it says and i quote that in case of continued presence of such unlawful information or fake user account after reporting to social media platform parties have been asked to approach the grievance appellate committee that is gac under rule 3a of the information technology uh, rules of 2021 the it ministry has formed three gacs last year for users to who were not satisfied by action taken uh, by social media platforms on their reported content to seek redressal. Then, of course, it talks about the three hours deadline, which we have in introduction when we talked about three hours ke andar you have to report and uh, the person has to be warned. Now, there are certain things which are not very clear also. Uh, for example, it is being said that the phases are still, you know, there are two phases which have been, uh, this reaction has come after the two phases of the election which has already taken over. Uh, then there is uncertainty about the language. What about the WhatsApp? And also, they've been also mentioning about the AI-based calls. So it says that parties have been using AI-based real-time calls to voters, as the Indian Express has reported earlier, these calls happen outside the purview of social media platform, but can potentially weaponize by parties or candidates. The ACI, ACI's letter does not deal with this aspect. So you see, this is a very important issue of deep fakes, which can you know uh, cause certain problems in the election processes, and it has to be addressed. Now, कोई भी नई problem आती है उसके solutions होते हैं और उसके कुछ you know there are certain challenges, and that is how we should read an article. Okay, हमने तो ये तो देख लिया कि ECI ने क्या कहा है तो these are certain solutions, but then there are things which are not being addressed, which are still you know there is a way to be um, there uh, has to be addressed so 
फ्यूचरिस्टिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाते हैं इसलिए इस तरह के आर्टिकल को दोनों पहलू से पढ़ना है यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट इन द सेंस कि वॉट आर दी सजेशन विच आर गिविंग नाउ एंड वॉट आर सर्टन चैलेंजेस विच हैज टू बी लुकड आफ्टर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देर हैज टू बी सम सोल्यूशन टू इट now that's the first pick now when you come to the second pick and my second pick comes from the editorial page and i think we have not covered it yet so you have to you know uh, think about this very it's a very important article it says blaze in hills and we are talking about the uttarakhand forest fires which require requires alert, alertness to changing climate and state must ro in experts and local communities this is what the excerpt of the article says to aapko हेडलाइन तो पता चल जाती है कि मतलब टॉपिक क्या है बट वेन यू रीड द एक्सर्प यू गेट द जस्ट सो वॉट इज इट ऑल अबाउट द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ से इज दैट एटलीस्ट फाइव पीपल हैव लॉस देयर लाइफ इन द फायर दैट हैव नाउ स्प्रेड ओवर वन थाउजेंड हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ फॉरेस्ट इन मच ऑफ उत्तराखंड देर इज अ डेंजर ऑफ द ब्लेज फैनिंग आउट टू हेवीली पॉपुलेटेड अर्बन सेंटर्स इंक्लूडिंग नैनीताल सिटी poor visibility has constrained the air forces fire fighting efforts now this line the next line is very important efforts believe that burning forest intensify heat and lead to black carbon emissions adversely affecting water system and air quality to ye jo forest fires ka issue hai ye bahut important issue hai ye aapke exams mein pucha ja sakta hai but also think from the perspective of people living in that landscape and you will realize the importance of this particular news so aapko us cheez ki importance pata honi chahiye ki ye kyun itna important hai now you see state government has been blaming the human activities and of course we all know that human activities say you know the forest fires in the country including in uttarakhand 95 nearly 95% jo fires hoti hain forest fires hoti hain usme human activities ki wajah se hota hai Uh, there's a very important line that historically the accumulation of pine needles on the forest floor during the summer months was the main reason for the fires in the Himalayan season. Some of the combustion is necessary for the forest to regenerate. Important line. Some of the you know fires to an extent is necessary for the regeneration. The burning of litter promotes the growth of fresh grasses. However the ecological beneficial activity of the past has assumed a severely de- destructive character in the recent years fires as several forest surveys and india report uh, of india reports point out are also caused by people clearing land for agriculture or as a result of accidental sparks from discarded cigarette or beery stubs for instance okay so there are you know obviously these reasons but uh which you have to keep in mind and of course the aridity which aggravate the summer okay the low monsoons and all these things these factors are counted in ek bahut important cheez jo hame newspaper padhte samay samajhni chahiye wo ye hai that we are not only taking up the facts we are not only taking up the you know causes consequences kind of things we are also trying to understand Uh, the way forwards the opinion what to what should be done after all aap jab government service mein jaate hain civil services mein jaate hain you do not you're not a person who will be only working on the facts isn't it you have to come up with way forwards with solutions all right now this these last paragraphs of editorials are the smaller editorials are very interesting because they tell you the way forward the suggestion sometimes in exams it can be asked and when you are finally in the service you have to think around it now look at this paragraph The Himalayas Himalayan State Forest Department has initiated remedial measures like putting in place fire uh, lines gaps in vegetation to check the spread of the blaze but Uttarakhand's forests need more proactive measure including putting in place weather prediction systems satellite monitoring and training communities to become first responders Much damage is regularly in, inflicted in Uttarakhand by natural calamities that can, by all accounts, be flamed on faulty policy making, floods and landslides, for instance. The ecological fragile state must be climate proof. So, look at the you know the perspective in which this particular article has been written. Look at the way forward. Look at the you know it went deep to discuss. डीपर इशूज तो इस तरह से आपको न्यूज को पढ़ना और एनालाइज करना चाहिए इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट इज रिटर्न वेन यू नो हाउ न्यूज इज रिटर्न यू विल बी एबल टू 
read it in a better way. Okay, so that is one thing. Now let's come to the third important article today. The third must read uh, Vesudapura uh, newspaper. He was important ho jata hai. In this five the election season, you have so much to read. But when you come to this uh, page where we are talking about uh, the uh, India Maldives relation, and there is this government and politics, and Shubhajit Roy, who writes on international relations uh, for the Indian Express, has talked about the frosty ties and between them, uh, between these ties, frosty ties, there's Maldives foreign minister is going to meet Jay Shankar in Delhi tomorrow. So this news will definitely continue, but you have to understand why is this a frosty tie? Okay, what is the, you know, recent development in india Maldives relation? Of course, we have already covered it in the past. We've seen it in various articles. But I want you to see the context of the news. You should not just leave it because you feel that, uh, you know, there will be things which will be coming up in future. But you, this should strike you to think that why this particular news? For example, look at the first paragraph. As the deadline for the withdrawal of Indian military personnel from Maldives ends on May 10. The Maldives government led by the president is sending its foreign minister for the first high level ministerial visit on May 9. So you know that what is the context? Why is he coming here? Now, of course, there are a lot of other things. Uh, it talks about the uh, exports and, you know, other related topics related to this relation. But look at the last paragraph and it says something about uh, our relations. Officials said that India remains strongly committed to supporting human-centric development in the Maldives as part as the neighborhood first policy. This is a very important term which you should use in your answers. Neighborhood first policy and that it will be an important talking point from where to approach the bilateral conversation in an otherwise frosty political relationship. So, first of all, you have to background mein jake, frosty political relationship samajna hai. And what, what is our relationship, like what is our relations and what are the important areas in which we are, you know, like for example in the trade or economy. So, these are the things that you capsule list. Bana leni chahiye. And then see what are the further developments. This is how you should approach the international relations related topics. Look at the past, look at the present, think of the future. So that's all from me today. Uh, uh, you can write to me at manas.shivastavatindianexpress.com. I'll I like to reply to every important mail and every mail is important to me. Uh, so think smart, work hard, conquer your goal. Bye-bye.